What's up, I'm Lance Gross, and a value that's important to me would have to be mastery. For me, it's just perfecting whatever it is you do in life. It could be your career, it could be you wanna be the best father you could be, anything. Logan Browning. Hey, dude. What's up? What's up, Lance? <laughs> <laughs> You're making me smile real hard. Good. But uh, I, I appreciate you joining me here before I turn my camera on. So what I do here, I invite my celebrity friends over to have a photo shoot with me and also just chop it up on the couch. It's Still. very chill and easy. I you know? love it. Good, good. So attached to that, I assign everybody a value. OK. For you. I gave you mastery. Mastery. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mastery. when you when when you hear that, what is mastery for you? When I think about mastery, I think about like failing and continuing on anyway. You know, despite it all, like like trying something, doing everything you can in terms of gaining the skill and the knowledge and the preparation and the wisdom and the advice yeah. in yeah. order to get to that thing that you desire. Yeah. So have there been any characters where you had to master something about that character, like a trait or a profession? All of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think specifically Hit the Floor. When, when I booked Hit the Floor, I wasn't a dancer. Mm. I've always wanted to maybe be in a musical, and I'm not the best singer or the best dancer, but I am one of the hardest workers. So I was excited to take on that challenge and to just invest the time and the money in myself and in that practice. I respect everyone who has an artistry, so I respect dancers, and I didn't feel like it would be fair to just walk up in there and just do my little two-step and be like, hey, yeah, I did two weeks of class. No, I'm gonna do a year of studying and trying to keep up with you guys so that I can um, sh do my best and show the, the best that Logan has to give in, in that kind of a dance world, I guess. What was it like going from, like, Meet the Browns and, and being, and then just growing up and becoming someone that guys just fall at your feet? Because you, you got to, a, a, a no, no, a lot, <laughs> now, a lot of my friends always ask about you. So what, what I know you know, come on now. Um, but uh, what was that like for you? How was that know. transition? <laughs> I mean, well, you know, you know, it's it's strange in TV land. You end up playing a lot younger than yourself. So yeah. I was 21, playing 16. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was I was becoming a young woman, and I I think that like lean, leaning into roles like hit the floor and and just these adult roles was was exciting because I got to experience for myself what it's like to be you know sexual, powerful, um, grown woman in in the public eye. I. I never think about it being like, like I'm the object of anyone's affection, and that stuff yeah. just it, it makes it all fun for me. Yeah, yeah I just I, I love that. I'm I'm not shy about the guilty pleasure, sexy drama. I think that it's it's a fun world, and I'm glad I got to be you know part of it. What brings you the most joy? My family. Your family. You know, I lost my dad, mm. so. I did too. I didn't know that. Yeah. I did not know yeah, that. Recently when? too. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Nah, oh. oh, okay. I'm sorry about yours also. Um. Well. Uh. Yeah. That my I I'm such a daddy's girl. Like my dad was my whole world, yeah. and I. I know he was older, but I didn't think that I was gonna lose him so soon. Mm. And I'm like sometimes struggling with, are there lessons that he had left to teach me that I didn't gain? And, and I, the reason I think my family is my source of joy is because parts of him reside in all of my family members, my brothers, my mom, my cousins, my everybody. I was gonna ask you who your hero is, but I got a <laughs> feeling it, it would be your dad. You know, it's funny, it was, but now I would say my hero is my mom because yeah. I watched I watched her take care of him when, when he was sick. And now growing up, my mom was 
She's like strict businesswoman. Sometimes, you know, I wouldn't see her three days out the week because she was traveling for work. I think I resented sometimes her putting her work before her family and not really understanding that it was for the greater good. But when dad got sick, she was still working full time, but was at my dad's bedside for 14 days straight. And, and she, she was killing herself to take care of him. And I saw a different side of her. Like I saw that she wasn't just about her business, that she did love my dad and she, she was gonna do everything she could. And I think that just rounded her out as like this, the epitome of a woman in my mind, just because she literally could do it all. She's probably my hero now. That's dope. Was your dad your hero? My, both, my, my mom and my father. Yeah. Um, my father had dementia uh, and it was a long battle, but you know, he just stayed so strong. And I think he held on for, for us. I have twin sisters, older twin sisters. And it's crazy because I was shooting a scene. I was in the middle of a scene. My mom calls me and my mom was just like, I need to put you on the phone with him because I think he's gonna go soon. So she put me on the phone with him and uh, I just said everything I needed to say. You know, he couldn't speak back, but they had the phone to his ear and I, I told him, you know, he did an awesome job, best dad in the world. Uh, we love you, we're gonna miss you, but you can let go. So, I spoke to him and then uh, my mom got back on the phone and I said, I wanna, I wanna tell him a little bit more. So I told him that, you know, I know sometimes we, you felt like um, you couldn't connect with me, you know what I mean? But I, I just want you to know that I love you. So I got on the phone with my mom, uh, finished up, told her I need to get back, back to work. Uh, yeah, I, w I went back to work and we started the scene again. Two minutes later, my phone starts ringing. It's my mom again, so I answer in the middle of the scene and she's like, Lance, he just, he just let go, he died. So I was the last person to actually talk to my father and it, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy, but just knowing that I was able to tell him what I needed to tell him because I feel like he heard me, you know what I mean? And I feel like he was holding on to talk to me because the rest of my family was there, you know? And uh, yeah, it's crazy, but he will forever be my hero. And my mother too, because she dealt with it also. Right. Yeah. Oh um, I can't believe, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you even you saying that you went back to work is like, that's how crazy this job, like it's that, that job that the show literally must go on. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that was like my biggest fear to be away from the family when it happened. But, uh, you know, I had comfort knowing that, that I got a chance to talk to him. Yeah. I'm glad you did. Yeah. It's been great talking to you. Thanks, I'm so Lance. glad I got a chance to shoot you and interview you. I appreciate you. And I admire you. And now we have you. that, we have our, our huh. that, I mean, like losing a parent is something yeah. that, that people like you, once you, once it's happened to you, you understand life and you understand that on a different level. So yeah. I'm, I'm, it's, it's a weird bond yeah. thing. That, For sure. Yeah. We connected. We connected. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you.